Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'm going to talk to you about linking to a shared drive. As you see, I have a mapped drive here called P. I have some information on. Um, usually, of course, you want to move that information into SharePoint. That has a lot of benefits. But when we're talking about large file shares, that's really something to consider. And it might be a lot of work to moving that data in. You might have metadata and permissions and stuff on the file system. If you have information on the file server that you don't want to move for some reason, then linking to it might be a very good idea. And in this demo, I'm going to show you how to do that. So in, in any case, you would copy the link. In this case, it's just P. So I'm going to link to the P drive. And uh, just as usual, I'll go into my edit mode on my page and insert a link. And of course, in this case, I'm linking to an address. So far, it's rather easy. But the difference is now that before the address that I'm linking to, I need to put and type in this file colon backslash backslash the old P drive or something like that, right? That was the text. And in this case, you do want to open in a new tab. Otherwise, close the window, the browser window, and you don't want that. So I'm saving the page now and clicking on that. And there you are. It's got a warning message, but it's opening the P drive like that. So that works. To link to a specific file, you can, of course, go in let's see, the P drive again. And if you want to link to a specific document, the easiest way of doing that, well, there are two ways. If it's an Office document, you can open the document and just enable editing there. And then on the File tab, there we go. There we have the Copy Link to Clipboard. And there you have the, the whole link. So if I want to link to that now, I can go in and edit and just insert a link here. Address, there we go. And here you see I got the whole path correctly without having to type the address and all that. Task alert. Then, and in this case, you do want to open a new tab and display an icon. And as you see, it's picking up that that's a Word document, rather beautiful. So if it's not an Office document, then of course you can't show the properties there. So another way of doing the same thing is creating a new link. Create shortcut. There we go. And if you go into properties on that link, there we go. The target there have the entire path, including the file name. So that, that's a you know, good quick way. Because if you try to type that in, it's very easy to make a mistake. So I usually do this shortcut instead in order to not have to type anything in. So in this demo, I showed you how to add a link to a path and a specific document on, that fi on the file server. Thank you for watching this demo.